Okay, we're taking a look at 2017 Leaving Cert Ordinary Level, Paper 2, Question 3, Part C. So they say this here, use trigonometry to find the measure of the angle ABD. So I'm just going to write that in notation, ABD. So this is saying find the size, okay, the two lines, and that symbol there means angle. It kind of looks like a lopsided L. It's actually just more like an angle sign. You sometimes see them put that in in the book. Uh, generally you'll see it without, doesn't really matter. Angle ABD. So first off, we need to correctly label angle ABD. So what you have to do is you have to take this shape and they're looking for this angle in here. So how did I figure that out? It's, I go from A to B to D and it's the angle enclosed from A to B to D. So generally it's the angle here in the middle at B, but not the full angle because that's 90. It's between A, B and D. So there. So now hopefully we can see that we have a triangle. Now, might upset people because the triangle is not the way we tend to draw it in our books. We tend to draw them maybe orientated differently, but it's a right angle triangle. And when we have a right angle triangle and we're talking about angles, we need to think about three rules in particular. Sine theta, cosine theta, and tan theta. And theta being this angle here, the one I want to find, okay? So, um, you can call it x, you could say x or whatever, or y, but I'm just going to call it theta because that's what you use now. What are our rules for sine, cos, and tan? They are in the log tables, and I'll be honest with you, they're confusing because they use a's and b's, and you have to, I just, I don't, I don't like it, it upsets me. So what I instead of, I learn a new mnemonic to remember them. So for me, sine, uh, sine is summer on holidays. So O over H. Summer, S-O-H, summer on holidays. Cos is Christmas at home. So where do you go on your holidays? Oh, summer I go on my holidays. Christmas I spend at home. C-A-H. And then obviously the last one, Tarzan of the Apes. Okay, so they're the mnemonic I use. There's also other ones like Sokatoa. Um, there's something about silly old Harry caught a herring trawling off America. There's tons. I personally like summer on holiday, Christmas at home, Tarzan of the Apes. Now, the next and probably most important part, again, like when we were labeling points previously, is labeling sides. So we have three sides to a triangle. I'm going to just do a few practice ones up here. If this is my angle, okay, we have to label our sides. The hypotenuse, the H, is always the longest side. So it's always opposite the 90 degrees, okay? That's always your hypotenuse. The next one I always try to find is the one opposite the angle, and that's your opposite. And then over here is your adjacent ADJ. So that's your H, that's your O, and that's your A. Okay, now let's try it for this one here. The longest side is from G to B, so that's my H. This is the angle, so it's pointing to the side opposite. So this is my opposite, and this is my adjacent. Okay, now we have to go back to the question and say, find the measure of the angle ABD. Right, so let's look at what information we have. We were told earlier that A to D was square root five. And we were told earlier, or we found out earlier that A to B was square root 20, okay? So which sides do we have? Well, we have O and we have A. So I'm gonna use an equation with those two. So the equation I'm going to choose is this one, because it has O and it has A. If I tried a different one, I couldn't solve it. Now, you can find out D to B, you could go do that. It's a lot of extra work, so I'm not going to. So I'm gonna say tan of theta equals O over A. So I'm gonna say tan, uh, tan theta equals the opposite, which is square root five, over square root 20. Now, this is a nice indices rule as well. If you do square root of five, and then divide it by square root of 20, you'll see that you get uh, a quarter, square root, of a qu uh, square root of a quarter, which is a half. So we've got tan theta equal to a half. Now they said, find your answer for the degree to the nearest degree. How do I get rid of this tan part with the theta? And this is where we need to do the tan inverse of the other side. So if it was cosine, 
theta, we would do the cos inverse of the other side. If it was sine theta, we'd do the sine inverse, but it's tan, so we do the tan inverse. And then we get our calculator. Make sure your calculator is in um, degrees. So you can do that by going to your setup and uh, picking deg for degrees. And I go tan inverse, so I press shift the tan button. You'll see a minus one. You can put a bracket and write a half, or you can write 0 0.5, either will be fine. And I end up getting 26.565, yada, yada, yada. 26.565, Your calculator might get slightly different results if it's a slightly different calculator. And it says to the nearest degree. So let's take a look. Does that five round up the six? And the answer is absolutely. So this is 27 degrees. Okay. So have we used trigonometry? You betcha, because trigonometry is using sine, cos, and tan generally. Or you could also use the sine rule and the cosine rule. I don't know why you would. It'd make it really hard, okay? Uh, it's easier to use sine, cos, and tan, but you're using uh, trigonometry in that case to find the angle ABD. That's it.